one in four women. I mean, that's a pretty powerful statistic. This is the story of what a people-centered company does when domestic violence hits close to home. Someone you know is impacted by domestic violence. Meet Capital Broadcasting employee Elizabeth Klein, who channeled her personal experience into a movement to bring help and hope to other survivors. From the outside looking in, my family looked picture perfect. Behind closed doors, it was a much different story. Um, my mother was physically, financially, and verbally abused for nine years. Well before Ray Rice made domestic violence the story of 2014, Capital Broadcasting had been working for almost a year on a domestic violence initiative called Enough NC. We created this task force and it was built from agencies and local government partners that were already working on this issue. There were 14 organizations that got involved right off the bat. In June, Fox 50 rallied the community to action with a powerful panel discussion with survivors and thought leaders. It's our state, it's our people, it's our problem. You will save lives with this campaign. Let there be no doubt. A grant from the Governor's Crime Commission and financial support from the private sector fully launched the mission on media across the state and funded EnoughNC.org, a website connecting survivors and abusers to resources provided across North Carolina. One in four women will experience abuse in their relationships, in their homes, in their communities. PSAs blanketed Capital Broadcasting television and radio stations in the Raleigh and Wilmington markets. Bilingual internet ads targeted to women statewide were served using CBC Audience Network. Four months after the launch of Enough NC, this video of Baltimore Ravens player Ray Rice brought the issue of domestic violence out of the shadows and into the national spotlight. Just a few days later, WRAL-TV was set to air the national premiere of Thursday Night NFL on CBS featuring the Baltimore Ravens. We made the decision to carve out two and a half minutes of paid inventory in what we believe to be a highly rated game. Devote that time and attention to domestic violence. I don't know if there's another station in America that does that. Just 12 hours later, 60 and 90 second PSAs produced by WRL and featuring the men of CBC premiered in the NFL game. Ask for help. Domestic violence isn't just an NFL story. It's hidden in real life. The spots continued to air on all CBC, TV, and radio stations for several months. Throughout the year, WRAL News continued putting the local spotlight on abuse and informing people of the resources available at EnoughNC.org. Who went through a program called DOSE. In September, WRAL hosted a three-hour phone bank to connect abuse victims with trained local volunteers. Experts answered nearly 400 calls from people across eight states. WRL.com hosted a live online chat with domestic violence volunteers as an anonymous way to get help. Social media took this local conversation to a national audience using the hashtag EnoughNC. As the national news cycle waned, Capital's commitment to confronting domestic violence did not. Domestic violence is all around us in North Carolina. There are new ways to protect victims and hold offenders accountable. In December, WRL's standalone documentary unit produced Enough is Enough, a half-hour special that aired the same night on WRL, Fox 50, and WILM. Capital Broadcasting television and radio stations aired more than 2,000 spots. Our websites delivered nearly 4 million impressions. The cost to our company, more than $400,000. The impact has been just tremendous and probably a hundredfold compared to what we could have done on our own. With Capital Broadcasting, we were able to use their television and radio resources that reach so many other people. What they've done has escalated the conversation with domestic violence. The Council of Women knows it's working because the domestic violence programs are letting us know more people are calling and seeking help. Locally owned Capital Broadcasting took the experience of one of our own and used it to energize our company and our community to powerfully stand up against domestic violence. This was a way for me to turn so many wrongs that I witnessed in my childhood into a right. It was a way for me to reach victims of domestic violence who may have lost hope, to let them know that it is time to say enough. The Enough NC campaign continues saving lives today.